from the very first note until the very last note. This is one of the most remarkable narrative ballet scores in the repertoire. Prokofiev tells the story so clearly through the music. So for our production, David is telling the story with his own interpretation, but it's fundamentally the same story. Musically, I'm very clear about the piece. I know how the curve works in the music. It's specific, it's detailed. I feel like it's a hard thing for choreographers to kind of go away from that because it's actually written crypt scene, balcony scene. As somebody taking on this story, I wanted to bring something new. So it was challenging to accept the prescribed score of Prokofiev. I don't know how he was able to literally write tears into the score. In the music, I hear the scream when Juliet is screaming and I hear crying when she's crying. There's some moments where you almost can't feel anything except for what Prokofiev wanted you to feel in that moment. And I think that's also a really enjoyable experience for us as artists because we get to just give in to the music and give in to that moment and that feeling. I've always loved the music. It's been one of my favorites for as long as I can remember. The emotion of it, it's so expressive. It just opens you up. Once you're in it and you accept it, it is like flying. It's a very short journey in the story. It's a matter of three days, but everything changes in the world in these three days. I think the whole score is all about contrast. It's about duality. It's about light and dark. It's about opposites. It's love, death, joy, fear. It's watching that person embody that humanity, which is so precious. The people that are there that night are seeing this for the very first time. And you are living those steps for the very first time on stage with everything put together, thinking about the whole process. It's thrilling and so inspiring. We wake up and we want to do it again. Because art is something that shows us who we are.